Heat is on everyone's mind, especially those folks who live in pockets of Houston that run a couple of degrees hotter than others. Lauren Tallarico explains. Summers in Houston. You've got a lot of high rise concrete buildings. Come with a lot of heat. Roads, sidewalks. But for some of us. Impermeable surfaces, right? That absorb and store heat. These high temperatures are even higher due to the urban heat island effect. The urban heat island is a is a human induced phenomenon in highly urbanized city centers. To put it simply, areas like the third ward with plenty of concrete, but not much green space, absorb the heat and hold it, which KHOU meteorologist Tim Pandagis explains. Keeps the surrounding area warmer for longer. We're talking anywhere from five to eight degrees warmer than what you find outside of other areas. I live in Houston's third ward neighborhood. Which is why Houston native and Rotary Club member Ed Pettit is pushing for changes. Elderly folks and folks that have cardiac and pulmonary issues, they're more prone to heat stress and heat stroke. Pettit was part of a 2020 study by NOAA and the Houston Advanced Research Center about this effect. What we found was that at the same time of the same day, there's a 17 degree difference between the hottest and the coolest part of the city. There are simple ways to fix it. All we have to do is start having more green spaces. We pave over everything. Which is what Pettit and other volunteers have started to do. Plan this grove of trees in honor of their late friend, Dakota Stormer, an environmentalist who created the Footprint app, a free way to track your carbon footprint. And there are other ways to fix this heat island effect too, like painting roofs white and having more green spaces. There are things that we can do to cool down our neighborhoods because this isn't just an anomaly, this is a fact of life now. I'm Lauren Tellerico, KHOU 11 News.